Hi pals! My name is Rachel Ann and I've been living in Toronto for a little over six years now. Time flies when you're a broke struggling student, am I right? <laughs> the goal of starting this YouTube channel is to make disability accessible. Unless young people themselves have an illness or have close family members or friends with illnesses, they don't usually encounter disability on a daily basis in ways that are accessible. Basically, disability is difficult to understand when it's often misconstrued. For example, some parents don't explain disability to their children unless it's absolutely necessary, or they may not even think to because we don't make up the majority of the population. Moreover, disability deals with the materiality of the human body, and visible disabilities often remind people of their own fragility and mortality. While some people weave in and out of disability in levels of mobility, other disabled people, like myself, experience permanent, lifelong disability. This is not an easy conversation to have with anyone, especially with young people who have encountered disability for the first time and are curious about human variants. Even if people are exposed to disability, everyone has so many different understandings of disability that glib explanations can create a one-dimensional view of disability. And that's not good for those of us who are disabled in unrecognizable, outside of the realms of your imagination type of ways. One-dimensional explanations of disability make the concept of disability strange, bizarre, weird, and scary, and something that's to be kept at a distance. This representation makes disability a spectacle. Or, disability is represented in the polar opposite way. The disabled person who can. This narrative is often presented to us with a white cisgendered strong man who had a traumatic accident but is now thriving. He's either in a wheelchair or has some kick-ass bionic legs. And that's not to say that that's not a real, valid experience with disability. But that predominant story of overcoming the symptoms of disability, that isn't mine. Disability is nuanced, and experience with disability varies. Real life isn't Hollywood, people. I will always have my bad days. Sometimes disabilities, both physical and mental, are invisible, and because of that they go unrecognized, untreated, and are subjected to public scrutiny. Those of us who have invisible disabilities are often implicitly told to prove our disability, or just outright told to prove ourselves because we don't look sick. An example of this is a friend who lacks understanding. They say they just saw you walking down the street, so why can't you come hang out now? What do you mean you're sick? You look completely fine a moment ago. They guilt trip you for posting photos with other friends or doing something else, but when you live with limited energy due to disability, a huge part of your life has to be prioritization. How you spend your relatively good time is a hard decision to make because there's always more that you want to be able to do, but can't. It's hard. It makes friendships, relationships, working, school, life in general just more difficult. The culture that we live in today is neoliberal, which basically means that we value production, monetary profits, and work ethic over everything else. What that is saying to disabled people who can't contribute to society in this overly productive, drive your body into the ground type of way is that our existence isn't valuable. We're not members of your society. We're not worthy because we don't try hard enough to push through our disabilities and contribute in an acceptable way. It's hard to untie these knots. I'm still willing to forgive myself for not always being that advantageous go-getter in their early 20s with some flashy internship. I can't work that way. My body just won't allow it. So with this channel, I hope to show you another side of disability, a narrative that maybe you've never been exposed to before. Now, not all of my videos and vlogs will be about my disability, but I would like all of you lovely humans who decide to tune in to realize the material ramification of disability in my life on a daily basis. I may not always be talking about disability, but I'm always going to be a disabled person. Yours truly, Rachel Ann.